This video is rated T for Teen. It's the battle of arguably the two greatest fan-made Sonic villains, Nazo and SMBZ Mecha Sonic, the Newgrounds Battle of Legends. Of course, these villains had their rounds in the Animation Rewind multiverse before. To learn more about SMBZ Mecha Sonic, check out Cell vs. Super Mario Bros. Z's Mecha right here on Rewind Rumble. And to learn more about Nazo, check out Nazo vs. Silkadoom on Cartoon Fight Club. I don't want to waste too much time because we got a really epic battle to get to. Today, we find out which fan-made Sonic villain truly is most powerful. Today, we Rewind Rumble. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin. Chaos Emerald, captured. <laughs> you do not know who you're dealing with. Imbecile!
lack a proper mind. What? First and foremost, I want to give a huge thank you to the one and only Omega Animation. And who could not forget the legendary Edwin Tiong for playing the role of Nazo Sonic. I really hope you all enjoyed this 4th of July special. Thanks and enjoy the post analysis. <laughs> Both of these characters are absolute powerhouses, and I need to make it clear that this is not comparing which series is better or more fun to watch. This is simply which fictional character can beat which fictional character in a hypothetical fight. As much as I would like this to be a close match, in reality, this one is quite of a stomp in Nazo's favor. For starters, Mecha Sonic wouldn't be able to keep up with Nazo's sheer speed. Now, I'm not calling Mecha Sonic slow by any means necessary. Necessary. However, it is really hard just to take feats from actual Sega games and fuse them with a totally different entity that is the SMBZ universe. With that in mind, it is safe to say that Mecha Sonic is at least FTL as he can keep up and copy Sonic's light speed dash. And Sonic himself in the SMBZ series is fast enough to move the entire world to a standstill. The Earth rotates at roughly 1,000 miles per hour or 1,600 kilometers per hour. To 
make a six sextillion ton object stop rotating a thousand miles per hour and Sonic being at no more than 50 pounds in reverse would have to increase his mass by 13.7 million times over. Using a kinetic energy to mass calculator, Sonic would have to be moving roughly 10 billion, 59 million, 249,435 miles per hour or roughly 15 times the speed of light. This is probably the fastest thing we can find in the SMBZ series, and Mechasonic scaling to 15 times the speed of light is crazy fast, but Nazo just has him beat in speed. Nazo can scale to Hyper Shedek, as he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him in combat reaction and travel speed. Shedek is the fusion of Shadow and Sonic, and Hyper Shedek is that same fusion with a hyper form. Hyper Shedek was able to whip Nazo from roughly the location of Earth's atmosphere to the asteroid belt in one-third of a second. This is a distance of roughly 297 million miles, or 478 million kilometers. That would equal a speed of 3.6 trillion miles per hour, or 5.8 trillion kilometers per hour, or about 5,368 times the speed of light. This makes Nazo roughly 357 times faster than Mechasonic. Now, of course, technically, that asteroid could have been anywhere in the solar system, but let's talk about just how unlikely that would be. According to the National Space Center, the solar system is extremely empty. Carl Sagan's pale blue dot speech is probably the easiest way to visualize just how empty space is. But of course, we need numbers to settle this debate. And according to jpl.nasa.gov, the ratio between emptiness and matter is 0.000006% matter to 99.999994% empty nothingness. The point is, the chances NASA crashed into an asteroid outside the belt is astronomically low. And take that astronomically low number and divide it by two because it is twice as rare to have asteroid asteroids of that size and have two that close to each other and not be a part of the belt itself. And it makes far more sense that he was whipped such a distance because if he was any closer, teleporting would have been slightly redundant. There is just too many factors pointing towards Nazo being whipped towards the asteroid belt. Nazo himself claims to be the strongest finite being in the universe, being only weaker than the infinite Master Emerald. Of course, he could just be a stereotypical over-bluffing villain. But actions speak louder than words. Hyper Shattuck needing the help of Hyper Knuckles speaks for itself, making the winner of this rumble, Nazo. On the next episode of Rewind Rumble... to subscribe, like the video, ring the bell, and turn on all notifications. Thanks. You guys are awesome. This is Dropping X. I'm just going where you don't want to mess with the... This is a Dropping X. I'm just going where you don't want to mess with the X. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, chill. Peace. <laughs>